Welcome to today's exercise. Today we are going to calculate manually a 60 Hertz wave, 60 Hertz AC interference. So you can see in the CZPZ channel right here that there's localized 60 Hertz artifact, which is confined to that channel. 60 Hertz artifact alternates at exactly 60 times per second, alternating current in the United States and in Europe that is 50 Hertz. But in the United States, it's 60. We're going to calculate this manually using the scale legend and a ruler. So let's zoom in. Now the time base is 120 millimeters per second. We're actually going to zoom in some more. Now we're going to calculate our time base. We've zoomed in quite a bit and we're going to utilize the scale legend to figure out what the time base is and then using that calculate one of these waves and see what frequency it is one of the waves in the CZPZ channel so we're going to zoom in just a bit more and we're going to look at that wave the first wave after that blue vertical line so not the one that's intersected by the blue vertical line and if we measure this wave or as I measured the wave with a ruler, we're going to measure across the baseline of the EEG channel. And I'm talking about this wave that is overlaid with the pink colored line right here. And we can see that this ruler is in millimeters and the width that we can see is up to seven millimeters. It's important to know that as long as the proportion is maintained of an EEG screenshot or EEG page, or on the monitor is you can change the size of that as long as the proportion stays the same that is the width and the height the ratio of those to each other stays the same if you reduce the size of an EEG image yes the scale legend is going to be less width and less height but the wave you're measuring is proportionally going to be less an example is a map so you have a map and you can change the size of that map as long as the scale legend is there in the height and the width of that image or map or the proportion is maintained then it doesn't matter if you change the size now here's an example of an EEG screenshot which is three sizes but if you were to calculate the duration of a particular wave if you were to calculate the sensitivity or if you were to calculate the time base any any type of calculations you would be able to derive those from any of these three images because the proportion is maintained. In other words, the height divided by the width is the same for all three. Okay, going back to our EEG screenshot, we're going to measure that wave, but whoops, wait, let's calculate that time base. So we're going to do that first. So we see 0 0.108 seconds is what it says. Well, what is the time base? I'm going to show you an easy way to remember that formula. Just look on your EEG review. So, for example, Natus XL Tech or Neon Coden, they tell you the formula right there for time base and sensitivity. Time base is millimeters divided by seconds. So we need to measure the millimeters of this horizontal line and then divide it by the seconds that are given to us, 0 0.108 seconds. When I measured this line, I found it to be 32 millimeters. So 32 divided by 0 0.108 is 296 millimeters. So that'd be 296 millimeters per second. Now let's calculate the duration of this wave here. We're suspecting that it's a 60 hertz wave. So we zoomed in a bit. Let's measure across that wave. I've highlighted it there for you in a pink color. And I measured that to be approximately 4.9 millimeters. It is important to remember that duration is the reciprocal of frequency and vice versa. So if you have the duration of something, to find the frequency, you just divide it into one. To find the frequency, it's one divided by the duration. And you want to measure that duration across the EEG baseline. All right, so I measured it to be 4.9 millimeters. Notice on the right here is our time base. 
but I flipped it. Why did I flip it? Why is it not 296 millimeters over one second? Because normally a time base is like the default 30 millimeters per second. Well, the reason is we have this 4.9 millimeters and we want to get rid of that. We want to convert that to seconds so we can get a duration. We need to put the unit or the number that is associated with millimeters in the denominator. And of course the other unit and value will go on the top. In this way, millimeters divided by millimeters, these will cancel. So essentially what we have here is we're going to do some arithmetic. 4.9 times 1, of course, is just 4.9. So then you have 4.9 divided by 296. So again, the time base, we're using that time base to calculate the duration. So we cancel the millimeters. The units of seconds remains. And when we divide 4.9 by 296, we get 0 0.0165 seconds. So that is the duration of that wave. Well, we take the reciprocal of the duration to find the frequencies. The reciprocal is right at 60 hertz. So we've proved its artifact.